equals primary teeth, right? Baby teeth, child teeth. So this is pretty easy once we learn the adult ones. The children ones are just little bit, little versions of the adult ones, okay? Um, and they'll have just like a little bit of a different version of numbers. All right, so the first one we have, the 101 is for all deciduous teeth, okay? Remove teeth from the bony socket. 101, all deciduous teeth. So, all deciduous, full mouth, universal. Okay. Ultimately, all the forceps have this smaller design. Okay, smaller beak design, smaller handle design. We don't need the kind of force that we might use on an adult size for a child. Okay, one, their teeth might not even be big enough access with that um, and then we just don't need to have as much force to take out a baby tooth okay so 101 total universal all right so like we learned the 150 is your maxillary universal the 150 s is your maxillary deciduous universal okay 150 s so that's the biggest thing. You want to make sure that you're writing at the 150S if it's the pediatric version. So the 101 is universal on negative and maximum? Yes. Yep. So that will say right under, it says it right there, 101, all deciduous teeth. Yep. So 105S, all maxillary universal. Same as the permanent teeth. Okay. 151 S. This is where there's the typo. So this is the mandibular forceps, deciduous, mandibular universal. Okay, so make sure you cross that out. Again, same as the permanent. Okay, just little mini versions of it. All capital letters. So you can use those same principles with that. If you're holding it, you'll see that it's pointing towards the mandible or the maxilla. Wait, what was the typo on there? So, it says maxillary. So uh, it says mandibular force oh, okay. with maxillary universal. You just want to cross that out and write mandibular. So write on it, yeah. All right, if you have the 101, does that mean you don't need the 150 or the 150? Um, right. Potentially not. Again, that all becomes like user preference, so doctor preference. So they might just always say, just always have the one. The 101 out and they'll take the majority of them out but a lot of the times you might have a 101 and if it's a maxillary tooth the 150. so you might have more than one of these out at all times in the event that they don't always know exactly how it's going to go once they go in there but a lot of times the true universals is what they'll start with then they might go into some of the other more specialized ones that would be for if they had a more difficult so if you knew you had some like simple extraction coming in just the general office, most of the time, besides your elevators and stuff, they might just start with a 150 and a 151. Maybe have a couple things off to the side that you can grab. That would be a little bit more specific to if they ran into a problem. But most of the time with the universals, they can take the teeth out. Because remember, we're loosening them up with everything else first. That's really just to kind of really get it out. And remember, so it's, it's buccal and lingual, and they'll rock buccal and lingual, okay, to ultimately get that up. So right under the 151S, there's not really a space, is the rongeur. So just like we learned about with the rongeur, for the permanent, it's going to reduce or remove alveolar bone, okay, so if they need to do any kind of snipping. In this case, it's a side cutting, but rongeur is fine if this shows up. It's the pediatric rongeur. And lastly, the straight elevator. Lift and loosen the tooth from the socket or the alveolar bone. Okay. Just like we've already learned with straight elevators, it's just the smaller version of it. Oh, it's so cute. It is. <laughs> the other one's so we talked about like in general offices, sometimes they don't necessarily have pediatric instruments. Sometimes. And they're able to, they just aren't going to use as much force with the, the um, traditional size ones. But for sure in pediatric practices or in all surgery practice, you'll have to do 